Hi, I'm Ryan and this is Luna and she is a seven-year-old female snowy owl. The snowy owl is a stunning species with bright yellow eyes and soft white feathers. Males are almost completely white, whereas the females have these dark grey markings. And like most birds of prey, the females are larger than the males. Now they are in the large category of owls, with a maximum weight of around 5 pounds, or 2.2 kilos, and a wingspan of 5 feet, or 1.5 meters. The scientific name is Bubo scandulus. The Bubo genus group includes other large owls like the eagle owls and the great horned owls. The scandulus word in the name is due to the fact they were first discovered in Scandinavia. The snowy owl has evolved over millions of years to be well equipped to survive in the harsh Arctic conditions. The snowy owl can survive in minus 40 degrees Celsius and it is the only true Arctic species with feathers that shroud the face, the body and even the feet. It looks like she's wearing fluffy slippers and her feet have thick pads. This insulation is vital to surviving in the cold climates of the Arctic tundra. However, they will migrate when food is scarce. They feed predominantly on lemmings, which are a small rodent, similar to a mouse or a gerbil, that is commonly found in large parts of the Arctic tundra. The snowy owl uses these sharp talons and powerful feet to swiftly catch their prey, usually attacking on the ground with mighty force. Although they can also catch prey in the air and from water. An adult snowy owl will eat approximately 1,600 lemmings a year. And they will also supplement their diet with rabbits, birds and even fish. When prey is low in numbers, they will migrate to areas where there is more food available. Now these locations vary greatly. They usually travel to parts of southern Canada or the northern states of America. However, they have also been tracked flying as far south as Texas and Florida during the extremely cold winters. Now, snowy owls are not officially native to the UK, however, in the past they have been seen nesting in parts of northern Scotland, including the Shetland Islands and the Outer Hebrides. Snowy owls are also native to northern Europe and Asia and preferred wide open spaces, so they are rarely seen in woodland. Breeding occurs during the spring. Like all owls, snowy owls don't build nests. Instead, they scrape a bowl shape into the ground, which is often located on a higher area, like a boulder or a hill. The more food that's available, the more eggs can be laid. On average, around six to 10 eggs would be produced in a good year. However, up to 16 eggs can be laid in one season. The female incubates the eggs for a little over a month and when they begin to hatch, the male hunts and brings food to the female, who rips it apart and feeds her young. When the owlets fledge, the parents continue to feed them for around six weeks while they learn how to hunt and survive on their own. The snowy owl is a diurnal species, which means it would naturally hunt during the day although they occasionally hunt at night. They are known around the world by other names, including the Great White Owl, the Arctic Owl and the Ookpik. Like all owls, they have binocular vision, using both eyes to zoom in to their prey or spotting danger approaching. And like all owls, snowy owls have fantastic hearing, being able to hear the heartbeats of lemmings from a great distance even when they're underneath the snow. These whiskers around the beak help to detect prey close by. Snowy owls are naturally very aggressive and can be seen defending their habitat with brutal force. Now Luna here was born in captivity. As a bird cared for by experienced people, she can live to be as old as 30 years, which is three times as long as the average in the wild. Now a good hand-reared snowy owl can be a good tame bird that can be used for school visits, education and display work, but they can get a little nervous 
And if they aren't handled regularly, they can change their temperament, they can become difficult to work with, and even slightly dangerous. The other slight downsides to a snowy owl in captive care is they don't like the warm weather. An eagle owl, for example, can be flown on a reasonably warm day in the summer, but a snowy owl would get too hot too quickly, so extra consideration must be taken on the warmer days. I hope you enjoyed this Focus On video. You'll find more videos just like this one in the Owl Adventures channel. Thank you.